Hi there Cancerians, thanks so much for tuning in, I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at October 19 through October 25 and love is in the air for those of you who are looking for it or who need a boost of it and that's because the sun is moving into Scorpio on Friday, your fifth house of romance, creativity, self-fulfillment and your fellow water sign. Now for the next month, Scorpios, Virgos, Pisces, Capricorns, Taurians and Virgos are all really good matches for you because to, with other water signs it makes sense that you have that same emotional connection and with earth signs, earth and water make mud, mud sticks together and so I'm a big I'm, I'm big in favor of that. I really do think that a lot of good relationships come out of like if you're a fire and air sign or a fire and fire, air and air or earth and water, you know, the elements do play a very large part on, in how people get along. And sometimes you'll see people married to somebody and you're like, uh, this is, I can't believe that this even has wor worked to the point where they've got engaged or married, you know, and sometimes it works. And sometimes it turns, you know, it doesn't work. It just really does depend. I think we look at Blake Lively, for example. Sorry, Blake Lively. Blake Shelton, oh my Blake's, Blake Shelton from The Voice, who's a Gemini, and his wife, Miranda Lambert. Scorpio, that's just such a huge different sign. Scorpio is a very sexual, very private, very inner very uh, deep and intense. Geminis are flirts. Geminis will chat anybody up to make them feel comfortable, not for usually any other reason. Geminis are scattered. Geminis aren't that intense. You could cry and weep and they'll be like, you're going to be okay. Let's have a drink or let's go out, you know. So I, I was actually when I read that they had separated and I checked their birth dates, I was like, wow, it's amazing it lasted four years. So, you know, that's just one of those mixes that is not a good mix. So find people in the element of water and earth and you've got really good love prospects because Jupiter is really wanting to help out. You'll know him or her when you see them. There's going, it's, not like, it's not like there's going to be an arrow pointing at them, but you will know when you see them. There's just some kind of recognition. It's hard to put your, my, to tell you what it's going to be, but my, my sense is, is that you'll be like, oh, across the room, that tall guy or that little pretty brunette or, you know, whatever it is you're looking for. You're looking for both. That you will definitely sense who that is. And Venus and Jupiter continue on in Virgo, your third house of communication and siblings and neighbours. So don't be surprised if one of your neighbours invites you over for a barbecue or drinks and there's some someone there that you feel you resonate with. That could happen too. Have a wonderful week. Enjoy. Be kind to yourself and I'll speak to you again next week.